Hi guys, what's going on? It's not quite along to Thursday, the 1st of February already. <clears throat> for something a little different today, we finished off Half-Life yesterday and I decided, you know, I'm just going to have a couple of um, chilling kind of streams. Not really doing anything too taxing, he says. Um, but yeah, we'll get back into Half-Life again next week. Today though, however... What I want to do is I want to go to a map which I was have already played and recorded, but I didn't do the extra stuff. I didn't know how long the extra stuff would take, so I was like, like, yeah, let's come and do it on a live stream today. So we're going to actually take on a road to Tartarus, Tartarus, however you want to say it, uh, and we're actually going to look to... Um, Solve and find and access the three hidden bonus stars that are around the map. So, uh, before the stream, I actually set up, uh, reset up my save file for this with the first area completed, as you can see, like here. Now, I'm just going to take a quick aerial shot of of this right here as it stands, and I'll see we have one cube there. But, um, as for the others, I don't really know where they are. I don't really know. So, um, yeah, this should be interesting, um, for sure. Very, very interesting. So, what I kind of have a little bit of a hunch about on this is I think having more cubes on the other side over here is probably going to be better overall. So what I plan on doing is, before walking through here, I plan on getting as many of the cubes over to like the final side and the final area as I can. Um, I'm not actually sure... I mean, we can do like a quick little flyby here. Oh, hello. I haven't noticed you before. What do you do, I wonder? Huh. Alright, that's maybe one of the cubes. But yeah, um... I did a quite a little kind of flyby before, and I think there's one there. There's one in an area. I thought there was one in an area. Over here somewhere. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Anyway, enough of that. Let's do what I said I was going to set out to do for a start, right? And that is to see if we can't get some of these cubes over into the other area. Alrighty then. So, I think the best thing to do on this is we need this and this. Now we can, like, slowly bring the other cubes back, I think. Although, there's only two cubes on this side. So, first of all, we need is this one, but we're going to need to point this one over here. Also, a lot of these cubes have got songs in the head, as LB would say. So, we're going to need to bring this one over here. And then we can drag this one through to, say, about here. I don't actually know if I need that cube on there or not. I might be able to take more of these cubes than I think. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So, I don't even need to point that cube up there. So, let's get all these cubes in here. I would say, I guess, laser cubes are going to be more important to us than weighted cubes in this quest. So, what I'm going to do... Come to me, cube. Thank you. I'm going to do this, and we will swap out this cube. That now gives us three leather cubes. Yeah. Now... Here's what I think I can do. I stack these up like, kind of like this. Like this. Hey, LB, what's going on? Welcome along to a very rare portal stream at this time of day. Where we're going to attempt to find the stars that I didn't find in my recorded playthrough of this map. Using all of my Talosy kind of knowledge. So I will dump those across to there. And then with this one, what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to leave this one, ooh, say around about there, I guess. Yeah, that works. Why not? I don't think I can take this one across, though. I don't think I can take this one. Without, like, doing something like trying to throw it. But I, I really don't think that's going to be intended at all. So... Some of the stairs require you to trap yourself. Interesting. I didn't even know there was stairs. I guess these are stairs here. Okay. Good to know. Maybe we could do something like... Oh. Stars, not stairs. <laughs> Makes sense. I mean, I guess we could like do this, right? No, that's too far. Too far away. Hey, the two words look so similar. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Alright, anyway. Uh, I digress. I think I could actually trap myself here. If I hadn't thrown all the cubes across, I could have trapped myself in here. Did you find all the stars in your playthrough? I've got it in my queue. I intend watching it later, assuming that I... Um, Solve it, of course. Alright, so, hold on. Let me do this a moment. Let me take my boxes back. Let's imagine I didn't th just throw them all across the wall. And then... Let me do something like this. Oh, okay. I did just I noticed that your playthrough was like three quarters of an hour, so I just, in I just assumed. Oh. Well, alright. I'll tell you what, because I've like completely and utterly messed that up. Um, let's do that again. We just found a star. <laughs> we found a hidden star. Sorry. I totally broke that and didn't mean to break it. I do apologize, Hugo. But that's obviously what... Um, yeah. Anyway, my, my intention here is to like block myself in here. And the way I was going to do that was do this. And then do something like this. This is this is my plan. To trap myself in here. Maybe. Oh, come on. I can do this. I'm a real boy. I am a real boy. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Seriously! Is it just me or is that laser actually bending? Like, ridiculously here. Huzzah! Alright, well. There is one star acquired. Interesting. Interesting. And that star... Let's just start number two. Hmm. Okay. Is that my watch dying? Yeah, it's my watch slowly dying a death. All right, anyway. Thanks for that bit of information, LB. You really came along at the right time. <laughs> uh dear. All right, anyway. We'll, we will no clip, but we will just try not to, like, no clip out of the bounds of that we already know. So we can now go back and do this. I uh, possibly did in differential, but um, now it's only an assumption, but I kind of guess that I would guess that each of these cubes, each of these areas, has a hidden star. Possibly. So what we'll do is we'll go back once we've done this. We'll, we'll probably grab a save here. We'll go back uh, into the first area. And we will see if we can see anywhere in there. Which may indicate some sort of hidden panel kind of thing. But anyway, let's do what I said I wanted to do originally. 
uh, an intruder tower style. Put a bit of cube stack in. So I want to get these cubes into here, like so. Uh, the reason I'm like stacking them and throwing them across and not just like leaving them on this ledge like this last one is I don't know how many, I can't remember how many cubes I have access to in that last puzzle. So by having two, at least I can uh, jump up and then kind of grab it over the top of the grating. So that's my philosophy on that one, guys, just in case you are wondering what I'm doing there. Uh, anyway, let's um, progress this way. And uh, yeah, this cube doesn't really seem to serve any purpose for us anymore. So, all right, so let's investigate on this side. I mean, there's that weird looking panel there, right? I think it was this cube that had the, cu the song in its head, by the looks of it. So, how many cubes do I got? One, two, three, four laser cubes here. Yeah, you see, got what look like stairs here again. So, I believe we could probably trap ourselves in here. So, how are we going to do that? Let's think. If I took this cube, dumped it over here, I could point that out there, bootstrap that one to that one temporarily, possibly. Well, let's, let's work with that. Let's see what we can come up with. <coughs> so, yeah, that one needs to stay like that, right? Right. So that kind of comes to... I was going to go to there. Oh, hold on. I know how I can trap myself. I can trap myself quite easily. Uh, I don't want to do that, though. I need to undo that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh crap. Alright, we've got to settle this up again. To do this. I, uh, it was, I'm making it a lot more difficult than it actually is. In true knock style. So we'll bring this one out. And we'll just bootstrap that to there for now. Now I can take this one. I'm actually going to do here. It All right. So what I'm going to do here, if I don't walk through the lasers, is plop this one kind of like here, so it's close enough to the grating that I can actually move it once I'm inside the other area. Now we take uh, what laser collision is off. You go. <laughs> Let's only do this. And then we wrap this one around the outside of this one. Hopefully, the angles are going to work out, which they do. I guess into here. Now we should be able to. Hey, would you look at that? But is it a star or is it a return path? It's a hidden star. Oh my goodness. So now we need. Now we need two cubes in here? Oh my. Oh my. So I almost like need to set that up again. Because I need two cubes in here. So that's one. But I can do this this time. Which is different.
I need to come out of this one though, don't I? That would make more sense. Alright. Let's imagine I position this a little bit differently. So kind of like pointing to, let's say, that cube there in the first instance. The logic in this, though, must be like insane. You guys done like a fantastic job on this. I must say. So now what we should be able to do is aim the laser at there. Isn't this going to trap us in here? Could aim that one over to there instead, potentially. So if we could find an angle to maybe hit like there. That could work, right? I think that could work. Okay. But how do I get this cube back? Let's try and do this like a legitimately a le legitimately way. A legitimate way. <coughs> As opposed to being so cheaty cheaty. I don't know if I can get that cube back, that's a problem. Because of my positioning. My crummy crappy positioning in the cube. So, imagining we didn't do that, let's try and set this all up again. So we bootstrap that, and then we take another cube over to here, and do say something like this. Excuse me. Then I do this. Okay. I'll save it there again. So, next up, I'm going to take this cube over the top of the railing. And point it in, let's say, that direction. Right. Hey demon, what's going on? If I point it in this direction, I'm going to have the same problem because once the fizzler turns it on, it's going to break all the connections. So, that one has to stay there because it has to point into there. How do I get a second cube into there and be in there myself? It's all good, demon. It's all good. So 
I still feel like it needs to like point at both of these things here. Uh, well, I did send a message out to everybody involved <coughs> with a link to a Google form. So, as far as I'm concerned, um, the competition is still running. Demon. Hey, Rod, what's going on? Long time no see, buddy. How you doing? I know, I've done by like the, the, the way it used to be done, so I'll pass everything on to Hanky once the deadline has been reached, and then um, Hanky will do his normal sort of thing, I guess, of like creating his spreadsheet and whatnot, and um, I'll do some videos and stuff to announce the voting is over, voting is closed, etc, etc, that's my plan. How many cues have I got at this point? Hold on. How many cues have I got? One there, which is inside. Oh, you know what? I may have just seen a, a much simpler way to do this. In true Talos style. So what I'm going to do, then I'm going to take you. I'm going to go over here. Probably to about, oh, I don't know. Rod's on my page. Rod's on my page. It's great, and so I can grab the cubes through the grate. Uh, the actual map itself, I didn't take that long on. Um, hold on, let me... Um, Oh, it, it really, honestly, I don't think it took me that long at all. I'll just check how long my video is for it when it comes out. Apex, no, we want uh, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes it took me in total to to solve this. So, but that's obviously without any of the the, the stars. I'm right, too close to the freaking thing. I uh, know LB. LB's. I've got LB's in my queue, and I know his was like 45 minutes. So I don't. I didn't know how much. Um, I didn't know how much stuff there was involved in the actual star thing. But LB says he didn't get any stars, so. I've been r relatively good with maps recently. I feel like I've been like solving them in a timely fashion as we huzzah get our second star. So now Oh we don't do that, we can climb over here. So now what I'm gonna do is what we did on the other side. And let's get cubes of plenty. Over here. So I have a funny feeling there is a bit of a um, hidden jump or something in this map. Uh, when we did like our little flyover overview earlier on at the beginning of the stream. Seems like there's a faith plate I may have missed. One goes over. Two goes over. Three goes over. And then the fourth is going to... Uh, 
Yeah, Gehenna is great. Um, I think you'd really enjoy it as well, uh, Demon. There's a lot, a lot of narrative uh, like to read in the, in the game. And um, I, don't know, I was a bit disheartened when I played it because I thought that um, I was just being really slow with it. But I think the general progression in the, in the Road to Gehenna is a lot slower than the main game. So, um, yeah, no, it's all good. All right, so. Okay, one star to go. And we know that the star is located over there. So. First things first. Let's pull over cube number four on this side, shall we? Woohoo! That's that one. I mean, I have a feeling that I could use some, like, the amount of cubes I've got. If I could get them all to sit on top of each other, I could probably jump up there. But, I'm not sure that's the right thing to do, so we will not do that right at this moment. What we will do, however, is... Um, hold on, does that do... That, one, that one's safe. Okay. We are safe. So I think what I did with this originally... I don't really need to do it like that, but hey-ho. Something like this, right? My cube stacked that up there. I did actually just place it here, I believe, and just found my way through the gap, which kind of also works. I really need to go back and replay the swapper. It's been a long while since I played it. I don't think I got any of the achievements in it either, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll replay that at some point myself. Good game. So this is what I missed before. This right here. So I think we've probably got ample cubes now. Right, so that needs to stay... Actually, let's take all the extra cubes over here. How many cubes am I realistically going to need? I think I've got enough cubes already. Maybe I'm done. Maybe I am done. Maybe I am done after all. Uh, I could re-portal, yeah. I could quite easily re-portal. Should, should we see if I've still got my re in skills? Hold on. Uh, right, so let me remember how I did this before. Or how you do this. Quiet. Huzzah! There we go. But, you know, I want to solve this the proper way. <laughs> so, yeah, I could re portal. I could do that. Hello there. Strange GD person who I do not know who you are. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put this to here, say. Oh my goodness. It's like that little space here to put this cube. It's like it's spazzing out. There we go. Now you come with me. I don't actually need that cube there, if I'm completely honest. The cube seems a little bit pointless. Okay, so that's, is that just to give me the height, then? <laughs> You're a fun of being, Mr. Cheaty. <laughs> I 
Oh, wait a second. I have my portal gun right now. Um, might be a bit of a glitch. Who knows? Mm -hmm. um. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, get portal gun. Um, oh, come on. Um, SV. Um, oh yeah, um, so, there it is, upgrade. Sweet! Just so I'm not, um, delusional. Not the height I anticipated. What the hell? Game! Um... Huh. Strange. Alright, so, I kind of feel like I would want, but I have to go over to that side, right? So, taking the cubes up here really does nothing for me. What I really want to do is something like... Won't be high enough, will it? Like that. Now, one cube or two. Uh, sorry, two cubes or three. There we go. Huzzah! Sweet as you like, me old China. Sweet as you like. All right, so now, if I can remember, it shouldn't be too difficult, let's face it. Uh, but let's go and solve the rest of this map, shall we? So, three cubes. I'm going to take all these cubes to the exit with me. Because why not? Sweet! Okay, so... Next up... What did I do next? I think I may have done a bit of stacky cube. So let's do stacky cube again. Like so. And maybe I need to do stacky cube over here. 
bit more in line with the portal surface. May work wonders. And we'll take one of these cubes. I'm glad actually uh, you, you did mention though about um, tracking yourself in certain locations, Olby, because um, I certainly didn't know about that. But yeah, we can kind of, with all these extra cubes, you can like skip all of this over here. And so in here, we just kind of need to extract all these cubes, or the majority of these cubes, right? So. That's our exit from there. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't want to do that. We don't have this one yet. Oh, well. Not to worry. Uh, actually, it's to worry because uh, I need a cube before I can get back. I need a cube to get back. I could have trapped myself there. No, I could have gone around. It's fine. Alright, so let's pretend. I didn't just do that. Instead, what I want to do is pull over this other cube from here. Never have too much cube, Rob. Oh, you... Please, let's just pretend that this is still here. Please. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I have to bring these cubes to the exit. I have to. It's like LB in a conversion gel puzzle. It just has to be done. You have to spread gel everywhere. It's an obsession. Alright. Now we do... Uh, oh, I can still kind of do it because I need to set up the laser. Jeez, not what you're doing. What are you doing? Cubes. All these cubes, and I am pissing about trying to freaking do it like this. No, seriously. Come on. Okay, so then. And we, 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 we mess it up. That's what we do. Do you know what? I'm not even going to bother because I've got so many cubes. Why don't I just do it like this? Honestly. This is pretty ridiculous the way I'm trying to do it. With all these cubes. I can just do this. Not rely on the freaking... I can't even remember how I solved it the first time around. But yeah. We do that. We do that. Now we get this cube. <coughs> Hoopla! Get this cube. Hoopla! This cube. Please. Hoopla! Oh, man, I can't throw the cube. I need one of the cubes, actually. To, uh, to do that. And that's it. 
completion. Huzzah. Get down here. Yes, there is a normal cube. <laughs> In amongst all this. We have ten cubes at the exit. If this wasn't a if this wasn't a Talos if this wasn't a, a themed map, then um, and you saw this at the exit, you'd kind of be thinking front page fodder, right? I'll take a picture of this. I'll send that to Hugo later. <laughs> uh, and let's just. Ready? And ten. Boom. Happy days. If I can actually get down the stairs. Awesome stuff. Fantastic. Did I th did I favourite that? I really hope I did. I did. Excellent. Cool. Okay, so we are kind of done a little bit early. Uh, I've still got a bit of time left. So I haven't actually recorded my Discus Daily Challenge for today. So I will do that. Um, I guess I'll do that next. Seems like a, a good thing to do. So yeah, but for that, I'm going to turn the camera off because the camera doesn't really seem to be right for Duskers. So yeah, let's camera off. And I'll... Oh, show on disk. Two seconds, guys. I'll be with you in a moment. Let's copy that to there. Uh, I'll sort that out later. <laughs>